Today we are going to have a lesson on pedicures. I'm going to use nail polish remover just to remove any existing nail polish off the nail plate. Always make sure that we're using a clean piece of cotton wool for every client. Just wipe over the surface of the nail. I'm lucky today, she hasn't got anything on. She's kindly removed it for me. Then we apply our cuticle cream um, with a fresh cotton bud. Just apply a small amount to the base of the cuticle and your cuticle just runs right at the base of the nail. And we just massage this in. So what this does then is softens the cuticle area. Just remove the excess cuticle cream, the piece of cotton wool. Then we're going to use cuticle remover. Just apply a small amount again to the cuticle area, which is at the base of the nail. What this does then is it helps us to remove any dead cuticle that might be lying on the nail plate, which we don't want. So I'm going to use a cuticle pusher. This is a metal instrument, and we always sterilize these after every single client. Um, I use barbicide to sterilize mine which will get rid of any infection. Just take another bit of cotton wool and you're going to gently push back the cuticle. So this is freeing any dead skin that's lying on the nail plate and if we get rid of this it makes the nail look a lot more attractive, ready for nail polish. The skin's quite delicate, so we only apply a small amount of pressure so that we don't hurt the client. Then we're going to use her cuticle nippers. These are sharp, so we have to be careful. But what they will actually do then is remove any dead skin that we've pushed back. And you just gently cut across. And just pop the dead skin onto your cotton pad. Every client varies really from, some people have a lot of dead skin on the nail plate, some people have very little. Just wipe away any excess cuticle remover and then we're going to apply a foot scrub just squirt a small amount in the palm of your hand and massage over the top and underneath the foot and this will remove any dead skin cells so the feet are nice and soft afterwards just give it a nice massage in. Relax your client. Just 
just a little bit of water just to remove the excess. Now you can use a cuticle, not a cuticle, sorry, your nail cutters, depends on the length of the, your client's toenails. Whether they want them cut, you usually ask if they want them cut. Some people like them quite long. Sheila doesn't really need a lot of. Then we're going to file the toenail. Just get rid of any rough edges and file them into a nice shape. Good to have pressure, nice pressure with a pedicure so it feels relaxing. I think if you're too light handed it can become a bit ticklish and it's not really a nice feeling then is it, tickled. take a white block buffer and what this does I'm just gonna lightly buff the top of the nail so this will smooth out the nail plate this is really good for people that's got uneven nails if you've got any ridges it'll smooth all that out just gently buff the top and then we'll go into our massage. So I'm using a citrus breeze lotion. We're going to actually take it up to the knee. So spread your cream over the leg and over the foot. And then we start with an effleurage movement. So underneath the ankle and you put a lot of pressure up calf muscle, bring it back down over the top to the ankle and then do your left hand and over and keep the movements going together. It's more relaxing if you can keep the movements going together rather than sort of going up and down and then stop and your client's probably waiting for the next movements. Lots of pressure and then back down crisscrossing your thumbs till you get all the way down to the ankle. Over to the other side and push up and then crisscross down. We carry a lot of strain in our calf muscles, so it's always nice to do this effleurage movement at the back of the calf muscle. Lots of pressure again. Take all the strain out of the day. Certainly doing that. <laughs> so I'm using, crossing my fingers over and using my thumbs now to do all the work. 
So using all my pressure on my thumbs. Working from the heel all the way up to the toes. Stretch the toes at the top because that's quite a nice feeling. We do that three times. And then we use the side of our hand and we put pressure into the arch of the foot and you come down then onto the side of your thumb. So out to hand and finish down on your thumb right into the arch of the foot. And then you use your thumb just to massage into the arch as well. Three times. Then we're going to do our kick cap movement. So cross your fingers again. Your thumbs then are like this movement going up to your toes, up down, three times. And then we finish off with effleurage again. Thumb side all together. It's almost like a caterpillar movement then. Lots of pressure on the bottom of the foot all the way up. And then with the kick cap movement, top of your fingers together thumbs together and we're doing the zigzag. Pop a pair of toe dividers in, separate the toes, take some nail polish remover, just wipe over the nail so we get rid of any of the cream that we've just used. It's nice and dry for your polish. Um, Apply a layer of base coat. Base coat we use so we don't discolour the nail then, whatever colour we use. If we don't use a base coat, it will stain the nail and leave a nasty yellow mark. Today I've chosen Old Cabana Boy. Lovely. Nice bright pink. Shake your bottle first. And when we paint, we leave a little gap. There has to be a little gap between the cuticle and where your nail polish starts because if you go right down into the cuticle it will flood and then it doesn't look very good. your orange stick just to clean up if you get a bit of polish on the skin. Apply a second coat, just makes it last that much longer, unless your nail polish is very thick then you'd only apply one.
if you need to, you can take a cotton bud, just pop a little bit of nail polish remover on the end, just to tidy up. If you've got any polish on the skin, I'll take it off without spoiling your hard work. And top coat. It stops your nail polish from chipping and it gives it a nice shine as well. It will last a little bit longer then if we got a top coat on there. We just let the polish to dry and that's okay. it.